How's camp? How, how are you feeling? How's, uh, how's everything going as we kind of get things kicked up here? Yeah, I'm excited. You know, uh, day two of camp, uh, you know, we just, you know, fine tuning our plays, fine tuning our mechanics and things of that nature, our uh, scheme and that. And we just, you know, stacking days. How much more comfortable do you feel now in fall than you did in the spring? I feel comfortable and confident. You know, uh, in, a, in a spring slash winter, you know, it was just kind of getting my feel with, you know, understanding the playbook, understanding the why's, the ins and outs of it. But now, you know, going over in the off season stuff like that with training and preparation. Now I'm, I'm confident and full full go. So, well, I thought those fit. It fit my skill set very well. Uh, you know, um, you know, it's obviously a spread offense, but the capabilities of me, with, you know, being able to uh, extend it with my legs as well. I feel as though uh, it suit me. It suit me good. So. Well, it's, it's really pretty much the same thing. I mean, football is football, but, you know, at the, uh, at the end of the day, but uh, it's, it's the same thing, so. Claude, how do you go from Toledo to where you're the guy to now a place where you kind of got to earn that starting spot? How do you just keep it, you know, that same level of intensity with your talent? Yeah, just really uh, just chopping wood, you know, and carrying water, you know, just put my head down, just getting straight to work, you know, not worry about, you know, the outside noise, just having tunnel vision, just keeping – just keeping everything, you know, just sharp. You know, me and Sawyer and the rest of the QBs, you know, we sharpen each other uh, up, you know, you know what I'm saying? Asking questions, asking questions with each other, you know, we just talking ball, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, we just talking, just talking wood, just put my head down, you know what I'm saying? Just get the work. That's all I care about right now, so. Obviously, you saw a lot of them in the spring, but how much did it help in terms of the relationship with the receivers? You spent a lot of time with them in the summer, you know, with 7-on-7, seven seven, or just, you know, going out there and working with them? Yeah. Uh, you know, I've been working with the receiver for, you know, a lot since since the winter, you know, just getting that extra time together, you know, uh, because it, it got to start at some point, you know, and why not in, in the winter? And we just, like I said, we just kept stacking days and just kept getting better and better and better. And, uh, you know, the fruits of our labor are going to come out pretty soon. So I'm excited to see that. What do you see from that group? How, how excited are you? Uh, I see I see explosiveness. I see savviness. I see intelligence, you know, uh, um, the accent. You know, those type of questions where, you know, the why behind the play or, uh, you know what I'm saying, just just little, like I said, just fine tuning, you know, you know what I'm saying, just different concepts and different routes. So that way, you know, when game when game day does happen, we can just, you know, just be all in and just get the going. So. Catron is, you know, kind of said you have been formed in a good relationship. How, mm -hmm. What have you, what kind of relationship have you formed? Uh, me and Katron was real close, you know. When I got my, when I took my official here, he was my host. So uh, that bond, you know, kind of just carried on ever since then. And, uh, just like I said, just me and him, we we're real close. Uh, I talked to him a lot. You know, what I'm saying we're just we're real close. So that's my guy. What's the relationship like with Sawyer? I mean, obviously you guys are competing for the job, but do y'all have a pretty good off the field type relationship? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ain't no type of animosity, stuff like that, uh, off the field, stuff like that. But we know when it's when it's time to play football, it's time to play football. The competitive side come out of us. But after after football, we all smiles and giggles, stuff like that, talking ball, just, you know, messing around with each other. So the, the relationship is good, so. Thank you. Sorry, I guess um, you've had a little time now in this offense. How comfortable are you with it? How much better, you know, do you understand it now? <clears throat> Yeah, it feels good. I mean, just like repetition always helps. Reps is the best like way to learn something. So obviously through the spring, kind of getting used to it and everything. And then now kind of just fine tuning everything from the spring and summer now that we're in fall camp. So it feels good. feel comfortable in it. Um, just got to keep getting better day by day. Is it essentially the same thing you wear in Mississippi State or are there different areas? I mean, it's kind of both past heavy. Yeah, no, it's definitely different in some areas for sure, but essentially like the same thing, um, which, you know, I love. It's fun. Um, and I feel like, uh, like I was saying earlier, feel comfortable in it. And, um, you know, it's just kind of good to like have some familiarity with everything. And so it's been good. Coach Arenas, as you continue to battle, obviously the, you know, everything, what's your relationship with Daquan and how is that battle going for you? Like it's been good. Yeah. I mean, I've, I'm, I'm a firm believer in a competition breeds excellence and DQ is awesome to have around because I know I'm becoming a better quarterback. Um, just learning from him, watching him. And um, yeah, our relationship's good. You know, we hang out uh, so much throughout fall camp. We're basically together all the time. So it's kind of cracking jokes here and there, but uh, just continue to develop that relationship. It's been really good. What's most different about you as a quarterback this season as opposed to last season? 
Um, I think, like I was kind of saying on that first question, reps help. Um, I think failure is like important and especially in a day and age where like everything is like instant success. That's what everybody wants to kind of like go through some trials and tribulations um, and come out on the other side like better. Just put your head down, go to work. I know I've become better. I'm super happy that like, you know, my faith is my foundation uh, because if it wasn't, you know, I know where. I don't know where I'd be um, after like the failure and everything last year. And so I feel like I've just grown as a person, you know, through my faith. And that's be, that's making me a better football player. So how do you keep that focus when maybe there's no defined depth chart at this point as we're just now coming this way from that regular season? I would say just like kind of putting the blinders on and just, you know, like looking at myself and saying, okay, what do I need to do to, to help the team, you know, not worry about all that stuff and just kind of like focus on, on myself, the abilities and opportunity God gave me and just go out there and have fun. Obviously, I had a couple of new guys in that room, in the receiver's room. How much did you guys spend on, you know, maybe getting together in the summer and after spring, just trying to get used to them? I know they were here, but just maybe even getting more comfortable. A lot of time. Yeah, no, a lot of time. It helped having that indoor because, you know, it, got, it gets hot sometimes in Waco. So, uh, it helped having that, and yeah, no, it was. I mean, it was, it was constant, like multiple times a week. I would say we were getting together, just getting the timing down and everything. They look great, obviously. Um, every single one of them is doing some good things, so I'm super excited to play with them. Um, they make me look good as a quarterback, and so I love the receivers and the offensive line have been playing well too. So uh, it's a good group right now. Anyone in that group stand at the receivers? Anyone like really taking a step? Um, I think all of them. I think all of them. Uh, look really good. Um, Josh Cameron is really consistent. And then, uh, you know, obviously you got the explosive guys with just, there are so many explosive guys with Monterey, Ashton, Howe, Keytron. Um, like I said, everybody just looks really good. Cam Bonner was out there making some plays today, and I'm sure I'm leaving some guys out, but they all look good. You mentioned the offensive line. How, how much have they focused on getting better after kind of what was a disappointing last season? Yeah, I mean, I, I would say first, like, it's hard when you're young. You know, we had a young offensive line last year. And so just kind of that age has helped them um, develop. And, uh, you know, they're a lot older this year, a lot of experience. And, um, I mean, like I said, they put their head down and went to work too. And so you can tell right now they're playing really well. Um, and so it's, it's really exciting, especially as the quarterback being behind them. Yeah, there are a lot of new faces even since the spring on that O-line. How's it been uh, kind of getting used to them and then getting used to you? It's been good. Yeah, no, we do a lot of things that kind of like help uh, like the relationship, whether it's going and playing paintball or, you know, going to Coach Aranda's house, just hanging out. And so kind of the relationships with all the new guys has been has been easy. They're easy to talk to, fun guys, um, you know, like Colton and Sydney, um, and they're doing great. They learned the offense. Colin, too, um, he got here later than even they did. And, uh, you know, they're all doing great. They protect you on the paintball. They did, you know, I was kind of in the back, like sniping some people, laying down, and so I was pretty safe. But yeah, no, they did, they did a good job protecting me. Anything else for Sawyer? Can you sense a, 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 a urgency in not just you and the offense, but the whole team after last season? Absolutely, I would say it's just like a, a hunger. And, you know, the chips on our shoulder. I think it's all evident. Um, if you go out there and watch this practice, you know, it's just constant competition. Everybody's flying around. Um, obviously, we still have a lot of things we need to improve on, but. For the most part, yeah. I mean, the chip's there. Um, we're eager and ready to ready to go out there and make some plays this year. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, guys. You.